the second batch are due to start lambing from tomorrow and we're gonna go up the mountain and gather them there's still another 120 to lamb at least from our first batch that's off the soft crosses and bits of Chevy crosses once they kind of cross over the two batches it can get busy but um, I don't think it'll be as busy as it was so we should have plenty of room hopefully today we're bringing in the second batch of yours the Martha Muscotch we kept them back because we couldn't manage them all lambing together and even as it is there's a good few lambing today the first one to lamb is a set of triplets it's a North County Chevy Dram so this yo here is also lambing she's a single so we'll try adapt on straight away mix them up so hopefully they'll be smelling the same this is adopted now no. so she seems to be licky hopefully she'll take two of them so that's that's perfect if that works because she's two evenly sized lambs and these are two evenly sized lambs this girl doesn't have much milk so I've done two She'll be fine with them, whereas this one is a lot, so. Perfect example, of, see how hard they are, scotch are. They were both born at the same time. The lamb I adopted off the scotch is up and sucking, straight away. And the Suffolk is kind of just thrown there. I threw milk back in them. Guy. That was a struggle. No. These are going out to grass now, out to a good field. Just a good start in fairness. Triplet, a couple there, and a couple of mores lambed, and yeah, they're put out straight to grass. So it's, it's a good start. We find a cubicle lime very good for keeping back bacteria and all diseases. So we do it with all the individual pins and work. So the biggest lamb ever on this farm was born. Was born, was born a couple of days ago and he's still tiny. So a couple of days ago he was even smaller. And so he's gonna to have to be taken away. He plenty drive, but he can't reach the path, la. The path is up around here. The path is up here, la. And he's head when he reached. So he can't reach, so he needs to be lifted up. He needs a little step ladder. But um just move twins now onto a fresh bit of grass. Um they were in the field below there, it's just kind of a bit bare. It's not too bad, but it'll grow back a bit quicker. And um, if you give it a bit of a chance now, so we'll keep him here enough for two weeks and put him back there in two weeks and keep changing like that. He's gonna capsize it here now and then. <laughs> oh lads. Where are you going? Ah oh, Jesus Christ. Give it up I'd say that. Come on now, up this way. He's gonna try this this way now. 
Ah, uh, jeez, he's going up the same way again. <laughs> he's up. Ho ho! We're bringing some uh, some late lammers. We think we weren't sure of them. They're really small others and bits of dry sheep that the ram was too late so we're going through their others now we we'll bring them in so they're all over this hill here now and uh, we're going to bring them down into the shed below and check them put a hand under them and whatever's dry is going to go away to the furthest away hill for the summer and whatever's, whatever's going to lamb is going to go into the shed and Sally come here Sally tell do Sally come here tell do and we have some cull yaws as well that we're going to carry to the mark monday as well so here we're moving some yaws and lambs along the road onto a fresh bit of grass as the field they were in was gone quite bare um it can be a nightmare sometimes moving yaws and lambs along the road as two lambs here ran into this other field and that's another reason why we mark the lambs with numbers as they can be easily identified um but yeah it can be very troublesome sometimes moving them along the road these are some of the fields now around the house they're getting quite full and actually quite bare and um, lucky enough we've we would have a lot of acreage in the hill and we would be able to send off maybe a couple of hundred yaws soon to the mountain and that will give the fields a good rest and we usually tend to leave the twins in the fields so yeah they can come on a bit better as they would need better quality grass but um, yeah, it can be fairly difficult moving these. Lucky enough, I've good help here from Charlie the Labrador, and my father's just standing on the road. But um, yeah, just have to go back now and catch those other lambs that mixed in the nearby field. Drums of 